It's time to start covering this thing with flat black paint. Make sure it's flat black. And I've discovered over the years that it takes at least three good paintings to cover this stuff. Because it's amazing how much you miss, especially under the rocks. But you need to paint it flat black, remember, because you need that shadow under those rocks. All right, so it's time to give this thing a good coating. Well, here's another good reason why you're going to have to do this several times. Every time you paint it black, you find little spots where you didn't put the plaster. I don't know if you can see this. It's right there. There's a spot in there that I missed. And you can only see that because of the black paint. And there's a little spot in there, too. But you just have to go over this thing over and over to see where the flaws are and just keep patching them up with plaster and painting them again because it takes a few times. Well, you can see the spots where I applied a little more sculpt mold Places I missed initially. There aren't many this time. Got one down here. And a spot over in there. But overall, not too bad. Gonna wait for that to dry, and then we're gonna put another layer of black on there. Alright, here's the way it looks now. It's had three coats of flat black spray paint on it. And then I just did a very light coating of this gray primer here and there to give it a little bit of a rocky look. Making sure that I don't cover up all the black because I want those shadows in there. And next I'm going to apply some paint with a brush with a little fine turf and just make some highlights over this thing. It's step by step. None of it happens right away, but little by little it gets there. And here's the scene after some hand painting and a little fine turf here and there. I made a decision a while back to uh, make this kind of a, uh, a frosty winter scene because well, here in America uh, over a thousand World War II veterans are dying every day. Uh, worldwide, I have no idea what that number might be, but uh, you could say these men and women are sort of in the winter of their lives, so the ones that are still remain with us, so I decided to put a little snow on this scene uh, when it's finally done. But there it is so far. I always think, boy, that doesn't look like much every step of the way, but little by little it, it adds up, and now the, the course turf is going to come on next, and, and that gives it a a nice little different look. I'm going to add some coarse turf now and I thought I'd videotape this whole segment because this gets a little weird, a little messy. I just take some spray adhesive, I've got some coarse turf, several varieties of it, and I just use some spray adhesive and I'm going to make a mess. I don't really have much of a, a thought of what I'm going to do here. I'm just kind of making a mess. I can always undo some of this, but part of the thing is to make sure you don't just put the same thing down in your place. Mix it up a little bit and put some, some dark green, light green, burnt grass, all kinds of stuff on there. And after a while, it gets a real good three-dimensional look. And if you don't like it, you just take it off. All right, after maybe only five minutes, here's what it looks like. Now, I almost invariably put a little too much on and I take it off eventually. And so, remember, I'm going to put some a light dusting of snow over this whole scene. So the trees and the bushes still have to go on. And, you know, you make a mess. Here's my fingers at the end of this thing. So, you know, you've got spray adhesive everywhere, the coarse turf everywhere. Mix up the types and the colors. And little by little, we're getting there. 
Still doesn't look like a whole lot yet, but it's starting to look like something now. And if you can picture the snow on top of this, it gives it that real nice three-dimensional look, along with the bushes and the trees. Well, here's what we've got so far. I stayed up late last night kind of tinkering with this whole thing. And it's beginning to look like something. I uh, put some bushes around there, put the track down and some ballast on the track, and I put a couple trees that I had left over. I've got some spot down there that I reworked to just make a flat front, kind of like it looks like a It'll look like just a slice of an army camp instead of, <clears throat> you know, I didn't want any terrain down there, in other words. I'm just going to paint that black, just like we took a slice out of reality. So, that's it so far. The back of it looks much the same way. Um, and I'm going to repaint <clears throat> some of these areas, put some black paint on there, and I'll just keep moving forward. Well, I've painted the uh, edge here, and the back is all black as well. And I used some uh, spray adhesive to put down the earth fine, co uh, fine turf there to make it look like dirt. Those are, that's where the Quonset huts are going to eventually go. So it's beginning to look kind of outdoorsy here, but there's a lot farther to go and we're uh, going to uh, weather the uh, Quonset huts and the uh, water tower next.